Today, I'm gonna show you how to build this warped basalt village house. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Okay, so just like we did with the other village that we just finished building in that mini series, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with this warped basalt village. Uh, I really just challenged myself. I took three blocks, right? So I took the basalt, I took the warped, and I took the uh, sandstone. Well, it's more specifically the smooth sandstone. And I wanted to create a, uh, a look, a house. Okay, so this is what we got. And we're actually going to do the inside in this video. All right, so we walk up the stairs. And you got, you know, a nice little decoration. You got some storage up there. You got uh, six chests. You got a bed to sleep in. Got a little decoration. Come down here. All right, you choose whatever you want for to go out. And then you come over here and you got your armor and a furnace. Okay, so nice little, uh, nice little decoration. And the same as last time, I suggest you build the other ones because I'm going to be doing a whole different courtyard. I'm going to be doing a whole different uh, wall. I'm going to be doing a whole different tower. And I'm going to make it look different than the last one. Similar in, in some ways, but much different in, in others. Okay, so if you like the last series, uh, yeah, build, build this one along with it, okay? So I'm going to show you how to build this house over here. But just to let you know, it's going to be 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then that twelfth block is uh, the basalt, but facing up, right? The polished basalt. Okay, and it's going to be the same thing on every uh, direction. So make sure you uh, you do this if you want to build along. This is going to be part one. Okay, so here is everything you are going to need. Either pause it, take a screenshot, or just look in the description. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to. So this is our line of eleven. Right, and then the twelfth one is that middle one. We're gonna come over here with the polished basalt. We're gonna come up nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Right, we're gonna go up nine. We're gonna count back seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block, we're gonna go up nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing over here. We're gonna go up nine. Okay. You'll notice it's already it's much thinner. Uh, than the last house, which obviously is uh, is by design. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put down a block and we're going to go around like this with it. Same thing on this side. We're just going to go like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to find the center. So, or not the center, but you're going to space it out the same as this. So you're going to count from this corner right here, one, two, and on that third one, you're going to put this going nine up. Uh, let's say right there, skip a space, and go nine up. Okay, if you did it correctly, you'll have two on each side. You're going to come across and do the same thing. You're just going to match these up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skip that space and right there. Okay, so that is the framework for our tall house done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mimic the bottom uh, with the top, except we're going to go all the way around. See how we have the gaps? Obviously, that's for the doors. We're not going to do that with this one. Okay, so we're just going to go straight around, like so. Perfect, right, get over here. Okay, right there. Then we're going to take our warped planks, and we're going to do them right here, just like so. Okay, and then obviously we're going to do the same thing up top. So just come up top with it. Oops, and go. make sure you go all the way around. And uh, next up, now, before I start, I know, or before I continue, the smooth sandstone is kind of a pain in the butt to get, but I, I think it works really, really well with this one. I didn't want to have the lines. Like, the only spot we have the lines uh, are for the sandstone would be for these right here, the walls. And that's only because we don't have the smooth sandstone option. But I think it adds a little bit of cool detail to the top. But otherwise, I wanted it to be nice and smooth. Okay, so you can see from over here, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our... Uh, Smooth sandstone stairs, and we're actually going to go all the way around, but make sure it's this way. We're not coming inside this way. We're going to actually face this way. So the little stair part has to hit the, the basalt. Okay, so you're just going to go all the way around with that. And yes, make sure you, you cover where the stairs are, because you only need a height of two. And we're going to do the same thing for the top, where that little lip is facing the uh, basalt. Okay, we're just going to come in with it like so. 
Now this this can be a little tricky and kind of a pain in the butt, especially in survival. But um, I think it's I think it looks really good. Oops. Now you can build this in the Nether. Uh, it's I'm gonna try and avoid water. I'm trying to think because I've built a couple of other ones. I've already built the courtyard uh, in another. I, I had it sa have it saved. Um, I don't believe I have water, so I think you can build this in the Nether and it will be fine. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come across with it in the middle. So we're gonna skip a space there, skip a space there, and bring these all the way around. Okay, to the middle here, like so. Till it matches up, but you want to make sure it actually fully matches. So there we go. Okay, like that. And now what you're going to do, right where the basalt is or basalt, is put this down like so, just like that. Okay, and make sure you do it all the way around. And now we're going to take our um, window panes or glass panes. Okay, and we're just we're just gonna, oops, we're just gonna go on top of the stairs here okay all the way around and then we're gonna after we do this we're gonna look up and we're gonna do the same thing on the other stairs I think this one's obviously a little easier because you could just look up and do it perfect oops make sure you get that corner you want it to come across the entire window so probably do that corner first okay looks good now before we continue inside let's finish everything on the outside Okay, so let's take our warp stairs. You'll notice that stairs go around each of these, I go around it. So we're just gonna do that there, two there, two there, two there, two there. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna take our smooth sandstone and we're gonna go around the bottom, but ignoring these corners. So we're just gonna go there, turn, go there, 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 turn. And so you, you, you kind of get the idea of how we're doing it. Okay, we're just skipping a corner. We're gonna do the same thing on the top. So we're gonna ignore that corner. Okay, come across with it. Whoops. Give it some definition. Give it some life up here. I really like these uh, these kind of funky house designs. You know, everybody does these. I always say this, but everybody does these like medieval designs, and you know, those are a dime a dozen. You can get them anywhere. I like funky stuff. You know, I like to try different things. Okay, that's my style. Cool. Now for the sides over here. Whoops. For the sides over here, we're gonna put another one on the bottom. So I think I missed that one right there. And then for the, we're going to do the same thing for the top here like that. We're going to come up here and see how this one's up. This one is regular. We're going to put this one upside down. So it matches with the outside. So this one's going to be upside down, right? All the way around here like this. Whoops. Did not do that one correctly. You want to make sure it's upside down. And then this one on the bottom, except there, is here and here. Right here and here. I think I missed the one with the door over here. Yeah. Make sure you put it above it like that. Okay. Now you can come inside and just put down the uh, warped planks like so. I, I just do it up to the basalt. So just match up the basalt with it. And then yeah, fill that in. Okay. Now we can put down our doors. So again, do it from the outside. I think it looks better. Entirely up to you. So put it there. Go around the back, put it there, okay? Just like so. Cool. Let's get some more decoration going. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our warped trap doors and we're gonna do them on that row where the warped is. So we're gonna go here on the side and we're gonna go here on the side. Okay, you're gonna be doing this all the way around and then in the middle of those, we're actually going to do a warped fence right there. I try putting a block, and you can totally put a block, but it, it kind of boxes it off a lot. So I'll show you what I mean. So if you do it, it just kind of boxes it, and I don't I don't like that. We're going for these, like, kind of, uh, you know, in and out shapes, like in and out. You know what I mean? Like we want it protruding, and we want it not. Um, so that's kind of the effect I was going for, and I think the stairs kind of delivers on both where you get a little depth, but it also is, is back a bit. So that's why I really like that, okay? Now the outside of your house is done. Now we can come up and we can do the uh, roof. So you're, you're gonna notice that on the sides, okay? On the sides, this just goes across three. So here's the sides. We're gonna go one, two, three, go all the way across. 
one, two, three. Do not do the same thing where the doors are. The doors are going to start in the middle here, and then you're going to go diagonal with them. Okay, like that. So you're going to go diag. Oh, controller just moved, went out of the way. There we go. See how the controller just did all of that? Okay. And then you're just going to fill in these little spots here. That's going to come in handy when we're inside and when we try to place stuff. Okay. Now I do have, do I not have junk blocks? Oh, I didn't put junk blocks down. Okay, doesn't really matter. Take something for now. Uh, let's take, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this as a junk block. I'll put it in the description. Okay, and we're just going to go back up top with it. The same kind of, the same kind of uh, direction here. And this one right here where we did the three on the sides, we're going to do a second one up there. Okay, it's the only part on this whole thing that's going to have another block on top of it. Everything else is going to be diagonal. Okay. Just like that. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the top. So we're just going to come inside with it like this. Like this. Yeah, I definitely have to put um, some junk blocks for you. There we go. Okay. And again, let's go two over. So we go there, 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 there. And then one up. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to go back to our smooth sandstone. And see how we have this one coming upside down? We're going to go upside down. Now, these are just for the sides. The sides are going to go upside down and then regular ways up and walking it up. Okay, so again, for the stairs, we're going to go upside down and then go regular ways on top all the way up. For the fronts, we're just going to do upside down here and then regular on top of the blue. So this right here, this lip is going to be uh, extended one, whereas this one is kind of covered. Okay, so just make sure you make that distinction. So where the doors are, you're just going to put an upside down next to the blue and then regular on top of the blue and leaving that. Cool. Now we're going to take our smooth sandstone slabs and we're going to go in this little corner here. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're just going diagonal. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just building up our roof, right? We're just continuing to build. Now we're going to take our walls. Uh, here we go, our sandstone walls, okay, and we're going to put them in this corner, so it's that second block up right there, and then this one right here, so you can kind of see where they are, okay, turn, we're going to do the same thing all the way around, right, just like so, perfect, and then on this middle one in between the sandstone, we're going to come across with these two slabs, and I really kind of like the way it rounds out the roof a bit more, you know, the, it, it doesn't... Oh, and then one more on top, sorry. So we have the culmination on top with that little point, okay? Now we can come in here with our trap doors and do um here. So right next to where this, uh, whatever, the polished basalt is, right on the top. Just like so. Perfect. Okay? So that is our house. That is our entire house built. Now let's just go inside and finish it up a bit. Okay? So I always start from the front door because this, this is the, well, technically it's the back door because you'd go into the front, but whatever door faces the courtyard, you walk through it, okay? This is how I built all of them. And on your left-hand side, which would be this one right here, you're going to take your warp slab and you're just going to make a stairway going up. One, two, and you're just going to go a half a block every single time. Three, four, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and right where it, it's even with this middle row so you look up the row that's in between the two pieces of glass right when it's even with that and by even i mean the top because you know this is not even because you really can't build on that like if you put a solid block on top of this it would look weird so it's got to be even with the top of the block and then you just come across with it just like so leaving obviously the spot where you walk up free so it's actually going to come out one two three four okay cool now we're going to look up and we're actually going to put down a chain, the three chains, sorry, in the center. Okay, so we're going to do right at that very, very center. One, one, two, three. We're going to put some light. So with that lantern, then what we're going to do is we're going to face the lantern and on this block right here. So we're going to go one, turn, two, turn, three 
turn four. And that just gives it like a little, uh, I don't know, like a little feature from the top to make it look like it's hanging from something. It's part of a piece. Okay. Then we're going to take uh, more sandstone walls and we're going to go in each of these corners. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then you want to fill these gaps in right like that. So it's a solid wall. Okay. Just like that. We're going to take our smooth sandstone slabs. We're going to go under it there and then there, right? So under there and there. Now we're going to take our chests and we're going to go one there. We're going to go one there and we're going to go one there. Same thing on this side. One there, one there. We're going to finish off our smooth sandstone slabs by going under and then up. All right, so under the chests and then up. And then the way I did it was, this is your staircase to the left. Look up and we're going to put a crafting table there. And on this one, we're going to put a barrel here. So plenty of storage options for you. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put down our bed. You can, you can have the, the bed facing whichever way you want. I, I just wanted it facing this way. So you drop your bed down. Okay. You're now going to take your warped nylon. You're going to put it here. It's going to give it a pop of color. We have so much blue, you know, still get the blue, but it's going to give it a pop of color, even though you're, you're going to cover it with a, a slab. So you're going to put a trap door. So you're going to put a trap door there, trap door there, trap door there. And then you're going to put your two twisting vines right there. It'll grow. I mean, you can only have one if you want, it'll grow itself, but yeah, put it there. Okay. Now we're going to take our sl uh, sandstone slabs again and put them here. So right in these corners, right where the, the sandstone meets the warped blocks. Okay. Just like that. And then we're going to take for decoration purposes, our flower pots, put them here and here, here and here. And you can go ahead and put in your warped fungus. Okay. And that's the entire upstairs done. So you got a crafting table, you got six chests, you got an extra thing of uh, a barrel. Now this, unlike the other houses, this is only for one. So this whole village is only going to fit four. Whereas the last one I did, the wooden one, it had 16 because there's four beds in each house. But I wanted to, I wanted to do that uh, this way this time. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, why do I only have seven? Uh oh, I made a mistake with these. I have to adjust this. You need more than seven. I think it was supposed to be 17. I'll fix that in the uh, in the description. So make sure you pay attention to that. One, two, three, four. Going all the way up. On this side, one, two, three. Okay? So right where the stairs are. And then right underneath, or on, I guess on top of, oops, on top of the these right here, we're going to put a block like that okay because there's there's seven inside but you got the four on the outside so there's 11 there's supposed to be 11 of those okay so just just keep that in mind there's just there's supposed to be 11 warp fence okay cool now what we're going to do is right under here we're going to put our furnace right so right underneath the stairs but not directly in that corner and then in the corner now i don't have the the armor for it i'll, I'll leave that up to you guys whatever you want Put an armor stand, put all the pieces of armor on it. You're ready to go. Same thing on this side. We're going to take our uh, warped trap doors and in that middle block, right? Because it's the third block over that's not covered with something. So one, two, three. On that second block, we're going to put that. We're going to put that. So the warp trap doors. Whoops. And then one there. Okay. And then we're going to take our item frames. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. I suggest you put some armor, uh, some weapons in there. You can fit all five, right? The the sword, the pickaxe, the axe, the hoe, and the what was the other one? What was the other weapon? Uh, oh, and the shovel and the shovel. Okay, and that's it, guys. That's the entire build. Okay, so when it's all said and done, you should have an area that looks like this. And for the next video, we will be doing the courtyard here and the first set of like connecting walls. It's not going to be the outer wall, but it's going to be the first like set of uh, connecting walls that separates the courtyard from the outside. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.